Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, I have a daughter that is two, about to turn three, and then a son that is about to turn one, and their birthdays are two weeks apart, so I'm gonna be celebrating them together, and I wanted to show you guys today everything that I got them for their birthday. Although we're having a joint party, I wanted to do a little bit something special for each of them on their actual birthday, so in the morning, I'm planning to start a tradition where I'm going to set up a breakfast table. I'm going to be doing a little theme for each of their birthdays in their morning. Jets is going to be Baby Shark, and it's not gonna be all out or anything. I just got a little tablecloth and some little plates with the theme on them. They're small, so they're not going to need a ton to excite them. Jet's not even gonna know what's going on. So he has a Baby Shark tablecloth, and then Bren's gonna have a unicorn one because, of course, her birthday party is going to be rainbow and unicorns, and that means that Jet's birthday is also going to be rainbows and unicorns, but we can get away with that this year because he doesn't care yet. And then I'm going to decorate a couple cupcakes just for him without the rainbows and unicorns. And I kind of went a little bit overboard on buying presents, especially the little things I got a little carried away with the odds and ends for Bryn. Not so much for Jet because he doesn't really like anything except for balls and he does like stuffed animals so I got him one little stuffed animal. But he mostly just likes balls so all of his toys are really ball related. Yeah, I couldn't get too carried away with that because he already has a bunch of balls so I just got him a couple more things that kind of relate to that. Um, but he really just likes balls. So he's really into balls. Bren's really into unicorns and rainbows and pink. Her favorite color is pink and she likes cats and stuffed animals. She loves stuffed animals, so. And she also loves Barbies too, so you're gonna see that with some of the things that I got her, and I'm going to show you guys right now everything that I got her. I spent around, I spent around $200 on Bryn, and less than that on Jet. I probably only spent around $80 on Jet because I couldn't think of anything else to get him. If I happen to think of something else anytime soon, then I will spend more on him, but also my parents, my sister, um, Drew's parents, they're all getting stuff for them too, so I didn't want them to get too much. And Bryn, I should have spent less, but I went overboard. So enough rambling, I'm going to show you everything that I got them, and then the things that I don't have here, which are things that my family members got them, they asked me for ideas. I will pop up pictures of those, and then I'm also going to try to link as much as I can down below, because a lot of stuff I got from Amazon. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I love birthday videos and gift videos, and I'm also going to be wrapping them, so I will show a little bit of that too. Here are the wrapping paper rolls that I got. This one was just neutral, and then this one I got, it might be for Christmas, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that yet. And then um, Bryn's, I got this unicorn, she already opened it, and then I also got this rainbow one that I love. So I got those from TJ Maxx, it's always the best spot to get wrapping paper. I'm going to start out by showing you guys um, the party favors, and then I'll probably set my camera up and show you the other gifts, but for now, I'm just gonna show you the party favors. So, since it's rainbow theme and we have four little girls coming, my two nieces and then my friend's two daughters, and then she also has a son, but he's a newborn, so we didn't get him anything. So we have these four coloring books, four packs of crayons, Bryn already has this coloring book, and then we have um, four pairs of sunglasses and Bryn has a pair that I'll get out for her too, because although she's getting other presents, she's probably gonna be concerned with um, this stuff too. So we have the sunglasses. I'll probably set them up in a cute little like glass dish or something. I'm not sure yet, or I'll spread them out on the table. And I got some stuff for this table, and I also got these wands too. And then I got this confetti to put out on the gift table, because um, then everyone can pick their gifts. So they each get one of those. I also ordered some cotton candy bags from Etsy, so they're gonna come in little bags that say Happy Birthday, Bryn and Jet. And I think they're gonna be rainbow cotton candy. I'm not exactly sure on that. But anyways, so they're gonna get the cotton candy and then also I wanted to get these little um, like squishy animals. I'm still kind of on the hunt for those so I may get those too but so far we have this and then the cotton candy. And then I'll show you the things that I got to decorate with. So like I was saying, I got this confetti and I got this pin the horn on the unicorn. So I think I'm gonna hang this up on a wall downstairs and then I'm gonna put over it a balloon arch. Well, that's the plan. I got all of these um, like rose gold, white, and see-through balloons. And I got three packs of those, and then we'll just do a little balloon arch out of those. And then I got these for the cupcakes. They go around them. Let me see if I can find a picture. Up here, and I got these off of Amazon. So they have a little thing to stick in the, in the unicorn cupcake. And yeah, and then I got these unicorn plates. This stuff I got from Target, this um, unicorn 
like tablecloth that's just plastic and it was just cheap a few dollars and then these plates for a couple dollars and then um the balloons i got from target as well in the party section and this i got from target as well so that all matches but then the confetti and these cupcake things i got from amazon so i'll link those below and then these i got from target in the party section these little wands and these coloring books i got from dollar general and these sunglasses I got from a site that has sent me clothes before. So I got these for free and I planned ahead and ordered these for Bryn's party. And they're so cute. I can't remember what the site's called. Hibo Hibobi, I think. I don't know. I'll try to link it below for the sunglasses. But these were only a dollar each, I think. So then next, like I said, I'm going to be setting up a birthday table for each kid for their birthday. So on Jet's birthday, I'm also going to include a couple things for Bryn because I don't want her to be sad. So I thought she might think it's more fun and get into wishing Jet a happy birthday if she can get a couple things too. So I'm going to put this tablecloth out and then Bryn will be able to use these plates for breakfast for Jet's birthday. I got these from Dollar General just, just now actually before I started filming this. And then I got these two balls from the Target dollar section. I got one for Bryn and one for Jet. Like I was saying, the only thing he cares about are balls, and they also light up too when you throw them. And then um, Bryn has also been into these poppers lately. She doesn't have one yet, but she plays with her cousins. So she, I know she's going to like this. And I also had to get one for Jet because he likes to get into her stuff, and he liked this when he was playing with it the other day. So I had to get one for him too. So I got him a dinosaur and Bryn a crown one. So I'm going to set those out on the birthday table in the morning for Jet's birthday in a few days and then these balls will be out too and then he'll also have this big ball setting out and baby shark stuff so i think that's plenty for his birthday morning like i said he doesn't really know Bryn's birthday morning is going to be a little bit more excessive and i'm going to set the camera up here and show you what we got Bryn for her birthday morning okay so for Bryn's birthday morning i got her this unicorn on a stick this little like riding unicorn and if you press its ear it makes noises and she saw it at a store. So I found this at a store and she was actually with me when I saw it the first time and she's like, oh mom, look, a unicorn, I want that. But I didn't have my wallet on me and I wasn't planning on just getting her this unicorn anyways. But I told her I didn't have my money so we couldn't buy it and she was fine. So then I went back again another time and I decided to get this for her for her birthday and I think it was only $12 at a local store. I'm sure you could find something like it, but yeah, I got this from a local store. So I got her this little riding unicorn. I'm going to have it propped up against the table in the morning when she wakes up. And I was just at Dollar General and I found this, um, what are they called, Squishmallow. And I've been looking for one of these Squishmallows and I just happened to see it and it was $12. And I got this too and I had forgot about this unicorn. So I was like, oh, I need something big to catch her attention in the morning for her birthday. And I got this. So I don't know, now I'm kind of feeling a little bit... Like, I shouldn't have got it because I already have this big unicorn, but it looks like she's going to have two, and I'm sure she's going to love them. And it's unicorn themed, so had to go a little all out. Her favorite color is pink, so she's going to love this, and the unicorn's pink too. And then a couple more things that I got her, a pink princess wand, and this was from a local store too. The same one, the boutique actually that I'm selling some of my bracelets and macrame items in, I got them from that little boutique. And then I also got her these two things from the Little Boutique too. And this is a little bracelet set. It has some pink ones and some rainbow ones. And then this one is a little unicorn purse. I want to show these up close too because the purse is really cute. And they were each only $5, so I just picked these up for a little something. She loves purses. She loves to carry them around and pretend she's going shopping. So I got that, and then I got these little bracelets. And she's been into bracelets lately, so I think she'll like these. And they're rainbow, which she loves, and pink. Which, so I got those, and then the last thing for her breakfast table is this little Minnie Mouse Pez dispenser. I thought this was a win, and yeah, that's the last thing for her breakfast table, and now I'll show you all the gifts that I got her for her birthday party. So the first thing that I'm going to show are these dollhouse people. They're called Haba Little Friends, and they're really cute. My mom has these, and then also my sister has them, and this is what they look like. They're just little dollhouse people. They're bendable, and this one has clothes that you can remove. They don't have many of these options with the clothes that you can take on and off. Most of them are just like plasticky, bendy material. And then she also got this mom one. It's kind of hard to see the mom. She's back there with the little boy in the stroller. And these are from my mom, these two. 
And then I just got her this one, this little girl, to go with it. I'm planning on getting her some more of those for Christmas, but I didn't want to get too many because I got her a bunch of other stuff. But she loves her dollhouse and she loves dollhouse people, so I decided to get her those new dollhouse people. Next, I got her this adorable unicorn from Pottery Barn. Oh, and those dollhouse people were from Amazon. I will link those down below. And they have a ton of different ones. They're really cute and they're really good quality too. This unicorn I got from Pottery Barn. It's the cutest thing. I'm obsessed with the color. It's so cute. I can't wait to see this in her room. And she also has a koala that looks just like this, but it's a light brown color and it's a koala, of course. So I wanted to get her this unicorn matching and I got them at the same time. It was like at least three months ago that I got them at the very beginning of summer and I just kept it stored away for her birthday. I got this. It was on sale for $20 when I got it. It's pretty pricey. It's a $30 stuffed animal, $32 stuffed animal, but it was on sale for $20. So I splurged a little bit on it, but it's really cute. The next thing that I got her is this Hearth and Hand Magnolia Lemonade set. And my mom has the same set. She plays with it at my parents' cottage. It looks like this. It's a little lemonade set with the pitcher and the sugar and everything, the straws. It's really cute. So Magnolia stuff always seems to go out of stock. I got this from Target and I will link it below. It's probably not in stock right now. I got this a while ago, a couple months ago. It was $25 and I got it when it happened to restock one time. And I thought, man, I'll put that away for either Christmas or her birthday. But I know she's going to love this and Jet will also like it too because he loves playing with the wooden food and throwing it all over the place. Next I got her some Barbies and she's going to be most excited about these. I got her this Puppy Party Barbie and I think it was $17 from Target. You can make little Play-Doh bones for the dog and you can cut it up and they have birthday hats and little bowls and I thought she would really like it because it has the Play-Doh with it and just the Barbie in general, the Barbie with the dress. I was looking for some um, big Barbies, a boy and a girl, so I got her this girl one. If I would have got her um, just a Barbie by itself, it would have been $10 and I really like the color of the dress on this Barbie, so that's why I decided to go with this kit. And it has the puppy and Play-Doh, so that will be an added bonus. And then I got this boy Barbie, because I wanted to get her one more boy Barbie. She has one right now, and she likes to play with it as the dad, but it has no clothes left except for the shoes, so I had to get her this one. Also, I got two Barbie outfits. I got one boy outfit and one girl outfit. And this is what the outfits look like. This is a tie-dye blue outfit with the shoes, and they were each $5. And then this is a Roxy little dress with a Roxy pair of shoes. And I thought they were too cute for $5. I'm probably going to wrap all of this Barbie stuff together as one present, because she's probably going to have too many presents to open between my sister. I already know my sister got her a cash register, the Magnolia one, from Target. And I will pop a picture of that up here. It's really cute. It has felt money. And I know she's going to love that. She loves the cash register at my mom's house. And no one has this Magnolia one yet. My sister's getting that for her girls for Christmas. And um, and then she got one for Bryn for her birthday. So I know Bryn's going to love that. And I can't wait to see her open it. But what I was saying is between everyone getting her presents, she's going to have too many presents to open. So I'm just going to wrap all of the Barbie stuff together as one. And um, try to not make it look like she has a million presents. And then I also got her a couple books. I got her a Fancy Nancy unicorn book. And she's never read Fancy Nancy before. Um, I thought maybe if we read this book, she might want to try watching the show. My niece actually likes the show too. And then it came with some stickers in the book. And I got this off of Amazon. So I grabbed her that. And then I also got this book off of Amazon. It's Fairy Tales. And it had um, Goldilocks and a couple of princess stories. It had The Gingerbread Man, um, Cinderella, and a few more. So I thought that was really cute. I can't wait to read this to her. We're always reading stories every night and we need some new ones because sometimes I go crazy from reading the same stories over and over. The last thing that I got for Bryn is this Play-Doh set. And I've been holding on to this since Amazon Prime Day, which was like two months ago. It's really excessive. It's an oven with a bunch of Play-Doh. You can bake a bunch of stuff. It's just a little oven and then yeah, it comes with Play-Doh and you can bake a bunch of stuff. So I got her this um, on Amazon, like I was saying, and I think it was um, maybe $15. And lastly, I'm going to show you everything I got Jet. I don't have much here for him. I do have his big gift over there that I'll show you at the end. 
And I forgot to mention that we did get Brynn a bike for her birthday, so I'm going to put a picture of that up on the screen. I got it from Amazon. I read a bunch of reviews, and this one was the most reasonably priced with good reviews that I could find, so I decided to go with this one. And Drew's parents went in on the bike too, so we're just going to split that, and it's going to be from both of us. And then also my mom got her this pink helmet off of Amazon, and she also got her and Jet together. It's a together gift. She got them magnetiles, and I think it's the Picasso tiles. Um, they're from Amazon. I will link the ones that she got. And before I show the stuff that I got for Jet, my mother-in-law got him this little ride-on bike that I picked out off of Amazon, and I'll put a picture of that up here. It's a really cute idea for a toddler and I figured Jet would grow into it. She also got him a basketball hoop for the bathtub, which I'll pop up here too. I picked that out off of Amazon. And she got him a little basketball hoop that he can stand up to and shoot tiny balls into. He's gonna love that. Like I was saying, a lot of his stuff is ball related because that's all he really cares about. So those were some ideas that I gave to her. And then my parents got him something else over here that I'm gonna show you in a second. First, I got a set of bath toys, the Boone Bath Pipes. It's a very simple toy. They were, I think, $7 off of Amazon, but I thought they would like these because it's a little something different, and you can pour with them, and you can suction cup them onto the walls and pour with them. So I thought that was fun. They can get creative with that, and I decided to let Jet open this because he doesn't have as many presents. Next, I got him this hammer ball set pound and roll tower it's called it's the melissa and doug one i wasn't sure if this was a good idea just because he will have a wooden hammer but if we need to we can put it away until he gets a little bit bigger it comes with the balls on top and then you just hammer them down and they go through a little maze so i think he'll like this we'll have to see how it goes i think Bryn will like it too and i got that off of amazon as well as this which is a little drop and go dump truck and it comes with balls, and this is the gift that I let Bryn pick out for him on Amazon. She was looking with me one day, and she decided on this for Jet. I kind of helped her, guided her. She wanted a fire truck, which I said, oh, you can get this one, or there's this one with the balls, and then um, she thought Jet would like this, because he likes balls. So you can put the balls in through this hole, and then they go into the dump truck. But yeah, I think he's really gonna like that, and then you can also drag the truck around, so it has multiple purposes. And then you can turn it on and it makes noises and it sings. So yeah, we're all going to love that, that it makes noises. And lastly, I got him this adorable stuffed animal. It's so cute. This is one of my favorite little stuffed animals that I've ever found. And I'm a stuffed animal fanatic. My sister makes fun of me for it, but I just love stuffed animals so much. I think they're so cute. And I also love that Bryn is obsessed with them right now. That's why I got her so many. Lastly, we got this ball pit for Jet. And it's so cute. I can't wait to put it in my toy room. I might go crazy with these balls all over my toy room. But I know he's going to love it. We already tried it out with him one time. We put we only had a few balls in there at the time. And we set them in there because Bryn wasn't home and we had this upstairs trying it out. And yeah, he loved it. So I know he's going to love it, especially with all of the balls in it now. I got three bags of balls and I think it's plenty. Um, it could be filled up a little bit more, but I think this is plenty. And I'll link this down below too. I got this off of Amazon, the balls, and this enclosure. I think the enclosure was, um, I want to say, $80. And then the balls were like $15 a bag, I think. And I got three bags of them. And I'm really happy with it. That's the only thing I could think of to get him that was a big gift. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap all of the presents. Not the stuff that's going out at the breakfast tables, but I'm going to get all of these presents wrapped up, so let's go.
I just got done wrapping all of the presents. I have them here. I left out a few of them because I want to get a gift bag, I think, for these little animals so that way I don't have to deal with wrapping them. Um, and also, these are my mom's gifts, so I didn't want to wrap hers because I'm going to give those to her to wrap. Um, unless she wants me to wrap them for her, then I will. And then I have all of the stuff over here that I'm just setting out on the tables. I don't have to wrap all of this stuff, so... That is going to conclude this video. I have all of my gifts wrapped that I needed to wrap, which I'm glad about because now I have that off of my plate. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below before you leave. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll be posting a birthday vlog sometime soon. Their birthday party is in, I think, two weeks. So make sure and stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.